But man, I'm enjoying this. This is really good. Oh, here's that Ventura's Belt orbital vacation again. Beam me up, Scotty. So obviously, I think admin lives down here. Everybody else is somewhere else. But no, this is personal. Where's the other people's house or rooms? So far, we only saw Clive and um, Clive and Evie's personal quarters. Yeah, this whole area is like opened up. Cryogenics, engineering. That's where we came from. Let's go this way. Oh wait, wait. oh, grab basketball. Okay. Uh, orange team. Woo! Us oh, hard. Got to time it right. Oh, so close. All right. So close, but yeah, so far. This is less spoopy, but like Soma in so many ways. Yeah, it's... It's not spoopy, which I like. Ventura's Belt, Orbital Vacation Bungalows, Newlyweb's New Perspectives. Coming in 2088. Oh, I like this. It's very pretty. It doesn't feel spoopy, it just feels sad now. Seems like everybody had, like, interesting and deep lives. It's just sad that they probably died. Except for the cat. The cat didn't die. Let's not think about the cat anymore. Alright, let's open the door. Alright. Put this back in. By, okay, inbound message. A random Odin fact for you while your work. Odin was the very first AI to be branched from the original source. Over a hundred years ago. He's an old guy. Huh. This is H, by the way. Hi. Hi. Uh, I hope you can read this. Okay, your real handler is back from the bathroom. Now bye. H. Huh. Alright, botany or medical? Let's go to medical first. If you feel bad, you go to the hospital, you get your, your heart listened to, you take some pills, and you feel happy. That is entirely how it works. The cat lives on in Red Dwarf. This is Red Dwarf. This is not Tacoma. It's, literally, it's Red Dwarf now. Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. All right. Good speed. All right, who do you want to follow? Once more into the breach. Right, let's, let's do this one. It's, it's right here. Might as well. Uh, Osin, Odin, Odin, isn't having more data available to the pilot desirable? Yeah, but the raw nav data formatted from the Zenith AI use not blink. Is going to need to be able to use this stuff in real time while she's at the controls. So, navigation code itself inter interpret the data and display its recommendations for optimal manual inputs to the pilot. Expose the raw data for cross-reference if needed, yes. I understand I'll prepare revision 2.212 of the manual drone. Okay. Oh, emergency effect. Cryogenic facilities active. Two out of six cryopods occupied. Supply. It's 50 hours. Message from Eva St. James. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. But I just wanted to say that I think you're a really good station admin. And no matter how I acted, I want you to know something not going to let you down. It's very sweet now. I appreciate it. I need to blank. See you on the other side. This user is offline. Failed. Failed. Okay. What? I don't know. I, I'm just thinking about how Evie and Clive are already in deep freeze. Did you read the message they sent? Yeah. Why are we going into the supply closet? I got to talk to them a little bit right before Sarah took them down to cryo and... Ooh. Wait, is this after the event? Evie was being so encouraging. They're putting all their faith in us, but... But what? Right before they turned to go, just for a second. They look so worried. Oh, baby. The clock is ticking. And I just keep thinking, what if the last time they saw each other is the last time they'll ever see each other? Don't think about that. 
How can I? How can you not think about it? So, you know the concept of partitioning from early century computing? Yeah, I think so. So, you have a data drive. Maybe one partition was your operating system, and the other one was like general data storage. And maybe you'd partition part of the drive off to contain something that might be unstable that you otherwise kind of, you know, wanted not to interfere with anything else. There are certain things that are gonna help us get this done, but some things, they need to be partitioned off. Because thinking about them isn't gonna help us. Hmm, but you're thinking about us, at least, aren't you? Yeah. And when I do let myself start thinking about how there's a possibility this is the last of our time together, too. Matt? Then I start thinking we should really make the most of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That was cute. Oh no. Okay, so it looks like the admin has been put in cryostasis. Everybody else seems like they're more expendable. That's scary. The voice acting is great. This is really good. It's very powerful at the faces, indeed. What's this? Sinus. Sinus said. Fast acting relief. Hmm. Sudden glomp, indeed. Daily vitamin tablets. Screw. Oh. <laughs> I wish I could slap people with this. Uh. Microguard. Daily vitamin. Parapro pain relief. Anti allergy caplets. What are these things sticking out of the wall? <gasps> Is this the debris? Oh no, the shelf broke. Okay. The shelf just broke. Oh, she was wearing her hat! She was in here. So cute. Sudden glumps. I love, I love jump cuddles. Alright, so... Secure, medical, steerage, physician access only. Lock engaged. Oh, I need to get a key. Crap. Alright, let's go find everybody else. Alright, let's okay, find Sarah. Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. Alright. Good speed. Alright, stop. Alright, let's see. Tacoma's remaining. To everyone left awake on Tacoma Station, I've added a tracking widget to all crew desktops. It displays a pretty accurate estimate of how much breathable air remains on the station. Following the algae bloom and EV and Clive going into the cryo, that counter should give you all a pretty good uh, indication. Keep an eye on it. Oh, okay, yeah, look at that. So EV and Clive went into cryo to save oxygen. There's also, like, bloom here that's keeping their oxygen up. So I think that increased their oxygen supply a bit. Uh, message from Natali, Natalia. Uh, hey ladies, your scans look good. You're cleared for cryo. If God forbid blank into the pods, attaching some standard instructions I sent along to Evie and Clive. Oh, so Nat- Okay, so Natalie and Roberta were gonna go into cryo next. In case of medical emergency when the surgical or other medical facilities, temporary cryogenic suspension until you can be transported for treatment. Here's a quick look at it. Oh, so everybody could still be alive. They're just trying to figure out what happened. The cat could be in cryostasis right now. Preparation. Medical staff will scan you and determine all appropriate regimen of fluids to be administered intravenously. Dosage of diuretics and laxatives and given time for your body to react before them. Medical staff will guide you as you enter the cryogenic device. If the cryogenic facilities at your locations are in microgravity, medical staff will have special training. Oh, okay. Oh, that's broken. That one also failed. All right. Oh, Odin. Did I do the right thing? In what regard? Does Nat deserve to know what her odds are if she ends up going into cryo? <gasps> oh, shit. I believe that you have made a decision with both Roberta and Natalie's best interests at heart. Above all, do no harm. If we do make it out of this thing, Nat's going to have to find out I didn't tell her everything at some point. I believe that is a bridge to be crossed at a later date. Andrew is here for his exam. Oh. Uh. Send him in. Okay. Before that happens, let's look at his thing. 
Okay. Where, where you at, Andrew? Oh, there he is. Okay. Odin, is Sarah ready for me? I will tell. Okay. Okay. Let's see. To Nicholas, oh, his son. Love you both. Dear Mark and Nicholas, I don't know how to say this, but it's an accident on the station. If you're reading this, we weren't able to survive it, and I'm sorry, Nicholas. I'm sorry I won't be there to see you grow up on the amazing man already you've seen you becoming. Mark, I'm sorry I won't be there to hold your hand as we grow old together, but don't forget me. Know that I love you more than I, than I'm sorry, Odin. I can't do this right now. I'll finish this up later. Stop dictating. Message from with Roberta. The drone was never meant to support human life. There's no air supply system, no on-bar controls at all. There's not enough radiation shielding for human passengers. And I'm going to have to figure out where to scavenge all that stuff from Tacoma in a way that it won't break the station. And hope that I can retrofit the drone to support human life long enough for me to manually pilot the six of us from Tacoma to the moon. So I really need to get back to it. Sorry, thanks for buying us a few more hours of oxygen with the algae thing, Andrew. Oh, shit. They're piloting... Okay, they're, they're cockpit has no shielding at all and it doesn't support any human life what kind of crazy thing is this prepping for Cairo Cairo uh, dear crew I would rather not be writing this Clive and I'm guessing myself Evie are going to go into Cairo not wish I were signing these words is because above all I believe in this crew and I wish I could be there to see you succeed in this we have the right people to make our plan a reality we will breathe fresh air again we will see our families again we'll feel the earth's pull again together from now Clive and I will do our best to settle in cryo soon Andrew will join us Sarah, Bert and Nat we're all counting on you couldn't be in better hands we love you with gratitude alright Andrew information requested answers to your frequently questions uh, while Ventress strives to ensure the safety of each of the contractors, accidentally, occasionally accidents do happen in the case. A contractor dies, transport the remains of the funeral arrangements paid by Venturas, loyalty and additional Venturas accident insurance. The contractor has been invested or immediately transferred to the contractor's specified benef beneficiary. Campon loyalty, country, country the crew, stay safe. Okay. I heard that you. All right, let's go backwards. Uh, close. There you are. Oh. Can't be in here at the same time. Andrew is here for his Okay. Oh. Uh. Send them in. Is there anything in here? No. So you showed up for your exam. Yay. I did. So does that mean you've decided to. What's gonna happen to us, Sarah? What? Um. Well, Bert and Nat are going to fix up the drone with life support and and then we're no. I mean what if things don't work out and we're still stuck in cryo oh well when you go into stabilizing sleep it feels just like any other sleep really the body effectively goes into a controlled hypothermic coma do you dream sometimes sometimes very intense dreams and then what after a certain amount of time, your body slows down too much, things start shutting down, just don't wake back up. Oh god. It, uh, it doesn't hurt. No. Do you think Bert and Nat can get it done? I do. I hope so. Then I'll just have to trust your professional opinion and do my part. It's been good working with you, Doc. I'm ready for my exam. Oh, <laughs> that's when she attacked her. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is getting really sad. Is this off? Oh. Ocean Beach. Summer showers. Not the temperate rainforest. I like how they're back here having a little, uh, little alone time. What's this? Sky Spar Star Kims, always working for your health. Do not crush your two tablets. See package for warning. Anti anxiety. Okay. Oh, key. Key. I need the key. Let's put that there. Jump cuddle attack. Indeed. February 20th. Honestly, most of the pain has faded, but I can't say that I don't still feel guilty. It's just duller than I thought it would used to be, but it's still there all the time. 
Odin says this counts as grief even though I've never knew the patient when he was alive. I don't know how doctors deal with this. A lot of them ha have to, don't they? Most of them. So she obviously had some form of grief. Alright, what's this? That's that gum. And nail polish. Deepness in the sky. What is this? Right, let's pick up the key. Let's put it like right on this chair for right now. Let's not forget it. All right. Ah, Sarah is really pretty. She is C N A A P P. Conf oh, Confederacy of North American Agripower Producers. Oh, that's cool. She's from Madison, Wisconsin. Very cool. Bioscan record pin updated. Contractor Hasad Madi, Has Madi, thank you for updating the crew AR Bioscan records access code. Please enter a code reminder phrase for future reviews. Reminder phrase is graduation. Just write that down. It's a big ass bottle of nail polish. It's. Let's see. Let's compare it to this coffee mug. It's. Yeah, it's not that big. I mean, mine is like this. I guess that is small. Yeah. You're right. That's pretty big. All right. So, what's this one? Subject renewal options. Contractor Hasmati. We would like to remind you that while posting contract on lunar transfer station Tacoma is currently up for renewal, there will be many more positions opened. Posting options open to you if you are able or to accept personal responsibility for the incident of September second, twenty eighty five. Upon the foundation of Paradise, as you know, the court case has been settled, so there would be no further negative impact on you, and your opportunities with Inventurus would be significantly improved. Oh shit, something happened? That sucks. Alright, so she had an incident with the... some poor kid. Probably a medical accident. That's this is Doctor of Medicines from the John Hopkins University School of Medicine. If you're supposed to spend months and years, might as well bring a big bottle. Dude, for reals, the biggest bottle you could find. Probably go crazy up here. Hand washing. This is a different type of soap. Hmm. Soap is weird. Eye chart! What's this? Oh. AR bioscan procedure. Please remove any items from your pockets. No need to fully disrobe. Lie down on the scanning bed and relax. Remain still during the scan. Okay, well they can't... Oh, kitty! You have a little mousy! Oh, baby cat. This cat's everywhere. Oh, it's a coin. Oh. Singapore. I'm kind of finding a bunch of other crap. Really pretty pen. All right. Oh, what's this? Is this just a battery? Excuse me. Can I not grab the battery? Okay, it's just a battery. All right. Oh, I know. It's so cute. Cat. Body scan records for medical staff only. Oh, jeez. Ah. It's a real skeleton in her closet. It's a true skeleton. It's in her closet right there. It's not creepy at all. All right, let's pick up our key and sleeve. Oh, where's this key go to? This key goes in here, the medical storage, right? There we go. The cat has become a side quest at the point. Find all the cats. Indeed, for reals, dude. Get out of your bucket. What's this? Ventura settles with family of spaceport victim. Oh, shit. Did she actually kill somebody? Like, for real kill somebody? Following a lengthy independent investigation of a court case, the Venturas Corporation has reached a settlement with the family of Jaden Jeremiah Pratt, who died during surgery for the fractured femur following the accidental accident board Venturas Fountain of Paradise Spaceport on September 2nd, 2085. The value of the settlement was undisclosed as part of settlement terms. Venturas admitted no wrong during the death of Mr. Pratt. However, significant public relations damage have already been done by the accident or the incidents. While OCEP's independent investigation was inconclusive, the attending surgeon at the time of Mr. Pratt's death, Dr. Sarah Hasmati, testified during medical 
multiple hearings that fault lay not in human error, but in the faulty judgment of Venturis medical AI HECA. Oh, dude. Following these claims and the lack of the refutation of OCEP's investigation, investors' confidence in the reliability of Venturis AI offering declined sharply hasn't fully recovered since Dr. Hasmati was transferred off the Fountain of Paradise spaceport shortly after the hearings began. Mr. Pratt was a popular travel and food writer, bringing the death of the subsequent hearings running the added attention from the public. So it seems to me that the AI does all the stuff for them. It seems like it's just completely like the AI makes a decision and the humans just have to follow it. So Heka, their medical AI, obviously gave her information on what to do and she just had to follow through. What seems really like... It, what's the point in getting a degree if you're just going to follow a, a like a AI suggestion? All right, let's open this up. Crew record data entered. Oh, JJ Pratt. Oh, she still follows all of JJ Pratt's stuff. He had 2.4 million followers. This fed maintained a memory of Gigi. We'll miss you. Celebrating my last night in Terra Firma for a while. Love you, Charlene. Oh, that looks good. Whatever that is. Singapore, home of the ultimate f hangover food. Something about AI not taking decisions regarding human lives, I say. Yeah. On my way, never thought I'd see Earth at this height. And a feed. So she's been obsessing him ever since his death. Unfortunately, the information you have requested is defined as classified by Ventura, so I'm unable to transmit it to you. I wish I could. I'm sorry, Sarah. It's okay. You don't have to apologize. I know you have rules so you have to follow. I wonder if Nat could get at it. I cannot prevent you from approaching Natalia about this issue. I can advise you that doing so would violate the terms of her security clearance. Jeez. Message from Natalia. No one in the facility. Uh, like, if she was malfunctioning, or if there had been anything wrong with her that people might not have known about. Could try looking at VT's tech error, ticket backlog for any hits. Okay, found it, Fountain of Paradise Medical AI about three years ago. Oh shit, so she's asking Natalie to look into the Hekka's AI, to see if there was actually any, like, tampering. That would be troubling. Man, she is just still looking at his stuff. JJ Pratt? Egg a day, Odyssey to the stars. Thank you again to the, all the eggheads who have flagged me in this loyalty affiliate program this month. Flag me today to join up and receive a premium content. Hmm. All right, to take my first ever trip up to the space elevator to the Fountain of Paradise tomorrow. The glitch, the glamour, the zero G. It's going to be incredible, and thanks to all my loyal supporters. But first, I spend a day in the hustle and bustle of Spaceport City, the lively jumble of improvised bungalows, gray market vendors, and of course, those famous Singaporean food stalls. Mm. <laughs> JJ Pratt, so hot right now. He is so hot right now, Rick, indeed. So hot. Uh, let's see. One last egg a day before I lift off for Terra Firma. Here we go. While Toast takes the center stage in this classic Singaporean treat, Fu's name, the real star of the show, is a perfectly paired, runny, half boiled, drizzled with blank slather and more good egg. Dude, I want this. Whatever that is, it looks delicious. And it has eggs, so I'm down. Let's rewind this. Let's get that music back. Let's unpause. What's in here? Is this her bathroom? This is, of course, her bathroom. Let's see. Mindful life, and not about a re by fund. The AI in charge of the operations in Kerbali Sea, city state, fund. Long lived story span. Here she shores with her techniques for gracefully navigating sentience. Huh. Fawn has been in operation for 62 continuous years, 34 of them Kiribati Sea City State. Fawn invented the celebrated sea forming techniques that bear her name, placing her on the visionary forefront of the state of the art. She is also known for a strong belief in meditation. This is an AI though. It's weird. They're both hot, like Hansel and Zoolander. I'm happy that Sarah has a normal toothbrush. Oh, Surat al-Bakara, the heifer. 
In the name of the God, the gracious, the merciful, Alif Lam Mim, this book is in which there is no doubt a guide for the righteous. Those who believe in the unseen and perform the prayers and given from what we have provided them, and those who believe in what was revealed to you and what was revealed before you, and are certain of the hereafter. These are the upon from the Lord, these are the successful. Okay, so these are... Is it like a prayer? That's pretty. It's a normal toothbrush? It was a normal toothbrush! It's better than the other toothbrush. What's this? <gasps> Chocolates! No, come back! Lemon. Nope, open. This is blue green remembered. She's very organized, but she also has a chocolate thing. What's this? With love. Dear Sarah, we are thinking of you during this Ramadan and hope you're celebrating in your own way up there as well. Please give yourself permission to relax every once in a while during your posting. We love you, Mom and Dad. Oh, Mom and Dad sent her chocolates. That's so sweet. You want future toothbrushes? Rick, you did not see the other toothbrush that we found. That thing was like... Like this. It was... V-shaped. And then it had like bristles all over it. Didn't make any sense. Is there anything else in here? I like this music. Oh, she had jump ropes and yoga mats. And she also had hair ties. Alright, what's in here? I Ching. Book about I Ching. What's this? Five Husu. Deep waters in the heavens, thunderclouds approaching from the west, but no rain yet. Superior person nourishes himself and remains of good cheer to condition himself for the moment of truth. The great success is your sincerely to keep you up your course. You may cross to the far shore, changing line one. Hex 48, the well. Huh. That was another card. Oh, turn back on. Grab the card. Hi, Sarah. So glad somebody wanted one of these beautiful orchids. Remember, not too much water, and just ask if you need guidance. From A. Oh. Oh, Andrew. He gave us an orchid. Okay. You want a laser toothbrush, though? Dude, Rick, you can have as many laser toothbrushes as you want. Give me an old-fashioned toothbrush any day. All right. I feel bad for Sarah. Like, she's obviously having issues with that kid. Though we never figured out what the um, code is for the medical examination. Doctor is out. We have this right here. Reminder phrase graduation for the bioscan. Oh! That's the year she graduated! Oh shit! 2080. Wait. 2080. Haha! Aha! We figured it out. We know exactly what it is. It's 2080. Tentacle toothbrush. For medical staff, eyes only. For British eyes only. Alright. Roberta is very healthy. She's 28. Uh, standard immuno antiviral schedule AC. Additive, addictive substance resistance. Um, she doesn't have any carcinogenic risks. No physical symptoms. Okay, cool. So she's fine. Natalia has something with her. She, maybe she has cancer. Oh, she's got a poor heart. Oh, she has a heart murmur. Shit. Cryogenic stasis viability analysis. Patient exhibits clear signs of cardiovascular abnormality, heart murmur. This condition represents severe risk of death during the cryogenic revival process. <gasps> oh no, that's why she didn't say anything! Expected probability of survival for patient under this treatment is 18%. Patient is not recommended for cryogenic stasis. Oh shit! Oh no! No wonder why she wanted to take her time with uh, Roberta before they went in. Uh, crap. That suck. How young was she? Or how young is she? She's only 24. Good lord. Oh, now I'm really sad. What time is it? It's 3.58. We should stop this. I think this is... Oh, that's why she doesn't work out either? 
Oh, that makes so much sense. She doesn't work out because her heart's just bad. Oh, man. All right. All right.